Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about internal energy and enthalpy of an ideal gas. Okay, so here students, this is the diagram of Joule's experiment. We will first see the Joule's experiment to, to understand the internal energy and enthalpy of an ideal gas. So here in this, this container is a insulated container which contains water. Okay and this is one tank okay and a is the another tank second tank which has air and the here this b is another tank which do not have any medium so it is evacuated that is it has vacuum okay and here this is the thermometer to measure the temperature of the water inside this insulated tank okay and here this is this small uh, round circle is our valve okay now we will first measure the temperature of this water which is inside this insulated tank with the help of thermometer and noted it okay now we open the valve, this valve, and allow the free expansion of air from tank A to tank B. During this process, there is no work transfer, and also Joule here exp experiences that during this free expansion process, there is no change in the temperature of the water which is inside this insulated tank. So, see here no change in temperature of water and there is no work transfer from this experiment Joule concluded that in the absence of any heat and work interaction to or from the system of air the internal energy of the air did not change so here no change no change in internal energy okay internal energy denoted by capital u and specific internal energy denoted by small letter u okay in this process the temperature of air remained constant okay constant constant even though here there here change in pressure and volume of the gas so see in this process air goes from tank a to tank b there is change in pressure and volume and here temperature remain constant from this jewel established that internal energy of an ideal gas does not depend on pressure and volume but it depends on temperature okay so the conclusion from this jewels experiment is that internal energy that is capital u of an ideal gas is a function of temperature only okay this is known as joule's law and this joule's law can be stated as u is equal to u is a function of t okay u is equal to u is the function of t okay and this small u is the specific internal energy okay now we will differentiate this equation that is u is equal to u is a function of t this equation we will differentiate after differentiating this equation we will get here du is equal to cv dt here cv is the specific heat at constant volume okay specific heat at this is this cv is the specific heat at constant volume so now we suppose there is a change of internal energy of an ideal gas from state 1 to state 2 then after integrating this equation this one after integrating this equation we will get here delta u is equal to here this equation okay delta u is equal to integration of 1 to 2 cv dt okay now after integrating this term this equation we will get here this equation 
okay this one which is here delta u that is a change in specific internal energy is equal to u2 minus u1 is equal to cv into bracket t2 minus t1 okay now further here as we know here enthalpy per unit mass is equal to and this enthalpy per unit mass is denoted by small letter h which is equal to u plus pv here this is specific internal energy p is the pressure and v is the specific volume okay now see as we know here ideal gas equation is equal to pv is equal to rt we will put this pv value pv is equal to rt that is we will replace this pv in this equation we put this rt here okay now after putting the value of pv in equation of h is equal to u plus pv we will get here h is equal to u plus rt okay here now see in this equation in this equation right hand side of this equation that is u is depend is a function of temperature as we seen earlier and here this rt term is also also a function of temperature only okay so here enthalpy is a function of temperature only okay now thus from this we will get here h is equal to h into bracket t that is h is equal to h is a function of t okay now after differentiating this equation here we will get dh is equal to cp dt now suppose there is change in internal energy of an ideal gas from state 1 to state 2 and after integrating this equation this one we will get here this equation that is delta h is equal to integration of 1 to 2 cp dt okay now after integrating this equation we will get here this equation that is delta h that is change in specific enthalpy is equal to h2 minus h1 is equal to cp into bracket t2 minus t1 here this cp is the specific heat at constant pressure okay so students in this video we have understood about internal energy and enthalpy of an ideal gas thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you